what up y'all i'm back with another tutorial and i'm just showing you the apps that i use during this so first you want to go into safari and of course you want to find a background you can look up anything to find your background so this is me finding a background Once you've found your background, you're just going to hold it down and click add to photos and then you're going to go into the Fonto app and you're going to click the camera at the bottom, plain image, click the white picture, the numbers above, and then you're going to click custom and change the numbers to 2560 by 423. So then it turns to a little rectangle, you're just going to click use and then you're going to click the three lines, click add image, and then you're going to select the background that you chose. Now you want to size it to be bigger than the white image because you want to cover it up and then you want to click the save button at the bottom and then click save image and then as you'll be able to see it'll be your background in the correct size of a banner. Okay, so now you're going to go into the PixArt app, and me personally, I like to have pictures already in mind that I'm going to use to cut the background out of, and I personally like PixArt better because it automatically cuts the background unlike the Eraser app. So of course, I'm just going to select the pictures that I want for my banner, and once I do that, I'm going to click the button at the bottom that says cut out. And I'm going to click person. It'll then highlight the entire picture and all you do is click done and save. Okay, so this next picture that I'm going to do, I did have to erase and um, add a little bit to my picture myself. So all you do is click the restore button. You can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. It doesn't matter. It's whatever your preference is and whatever is easier for you. I like to make it a little smaller and zoom in. And then all you do after that is you just click save. And it's the same way if you need to erase something, you just click erase. So um, I think this next picture that I chose, I had an easy background to crop. So I didn't have to erase anything once again. And that's why I said those kind of backgrounds are good. So now I'm going into Fonto. You're going to click the camera at the bottom, photo albums. And now you're going to select the banner that you created, the small one. You're then going to click on the three lines, click add image, and you're going to start adding in the pictures that you want on your banner. And once you do that, you just move the pictures however you would like. If you want to have pictures hanging off, just know that when you save your banner, whatever is not on the banner part that you created will be cut off. So I'm not going to talk too much on this part. It's really simple. You just select the pictures you want. You move them and size them however you would like. And just like I said, be mindful whatever is hanging off the picture will be cut off. Okay, so once you have all your pictures placed how you would like, you're going to click the save button again, and you're going to save the image to your phone. And then you're going to click the camera again, click reset, and then all you're going to do is pull the picture back up the same way we have been by clicking photo album. And now what you're going to do is you're going to start adding your text in. And um, like I said, this is all self-explanatory as well. Just add text in wherever you would like, whatever font you would like, and yeah. And what I like to do is find a font first and then I'll click style and play around. You can change the color, you can add like the stroke behind so the letters look like they're in bold. Just play around with whatever you like because it's your banner and you want it how you want it. Oh, 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 oh,
Okay, so this part might be a little fast, but since I included my social medias, I'm going to go on Google and I'm going to look up the black Snapchat PNG. The PNG is so that it is a no background picture, just like how we did our pictures. And the way you know is if the picture has checkers behind it and you hold it down and they go away, like I'm showing you, that is a PNG. So I just looked up a black logo for the two social medias that I had in my um, banner and I just saved them and added them the same way I have been adding any other image which is clicking the three lines and clicking add image if you did not see. Okay, so now that the banner is finished, you're gonna save it how we've been, which is clicking save and click save image. And now you're gonna click the camera at the bottom, click plain image and select the white image again. And you're going to click the numbers at the top. And this time we're gonna change the measurements to 2560 by 1440. But, um, change that to 1152 because the right size that it would tell you to change it to is 2560 by 1152 and a lot of people have that problem so i hope that tip helps so since it's that size now you're gonna go to google you're gonna search up the banner size template and you're gonna find one that's clear and that has everything on the the picture some of these have things cut off you need the one that's whole now you're going to click the three lines click add image and you're going to make the banner size template the exact same size as the white image so play around with the measurements a little bit just make sure that it's the same exact size So once that's done, you're going to click the three lines again, click add image, and now you're going to add in the banner. Now this time you want to make the banner the same exact size as the part on the template that is dark gray. So as you can see, I'm making it exactly the same size, not any bigger, not any smaller. Once you feel like it's the same exact size you're just gonna tap the template and click remove and it will go away and now you have your banner and now all you have to do is make sure that it's still the same size as the white image it might be a little off and you save your image and you are done